All right, now you can see we're really getting there. Um, most of the floor is in. And just want to point out a couple of things here as we come to the home stretch. Even though it takes hours to put these planks in, it's like I said before, it's kind of fun. When you're in the middle of it, sometimes it doesn't seem fun, but it really kind of is. Note here some of the finish work that's going to have to be done, though. I left the expansion gap, um, you know, for temperature changes so the, the floor can move a little bit. And that's going to be ultimately covered with a, a little quarter round. In fact, you can see at the edges over there, I've got them painted and in place. They're not nailed in yet. Um, but I had to remove the plinth block here, um, even though it pained me a little bit to do, because while the quarter round will cover uh, from the base molding to the floor here, the plinth block has to be really flush. There's not going to be quarter round in front of that. So that's a little bit of a custom effort. And I'm going to put quarter round here too. And then right in this section here, between the two floors, right? So I've got, um, you know, the kitchen floor is, is tiled to the wood. There's a special uh, sort of T channel that they sell. And this will ultimately go in here and be nailed in. I've got a few pieces of, like, junk wood here that I cut. Just because when I nail it, I want it to go nice and meaty into something just below and then into the subfloor. But the key point is that these little finish efforts, the trims around the edges and stuff, um, take quite a bit of time because it's really finishing off the room. So we're getting there really close. Okay, now we're getting into the really tight corners. If you look closely, you can see there's just a little bit of red rosin paper showing there. And what I've done is I've taken the wood and sort of modeled. I mean, these last four pieces that you see here, one, two, three, four, are not nailed. They're just put into place because I wanted to see where this would break. I'm planning to put carpet actually in here, which means this little nub that you see, the, um, uh, the tongue portion, it can't be here. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking the last piece and flipping it and removing the tongue from both sides. And I really want the, um, the groove portion here so that the carpet can fit snugly inside there. And very fortunately, I can't take credit for this, this is breaking beautifully right where the, um, the edge of the room would be here. So we'll extend the tack strip for the carpet. But without, without doing this type of testing, um, before I actually start nailing anything, I can't really be sure what's what. Now, if I follow this across the room here, you can see I've done the same thing on this side. There's my little bit of red rosin paper. And sure enough, I'm looking pretty good because I follow those parallel lines right across. Now, Again, I can't take credit for landing this exactly here. That was just luck, and sometimes you get lucky. Um, but we'll take it. So now I'm going to do these final, very detailed cuts. And again, I'm going to, in my case, remove the tongue from the last two pieces and sort of butt them against each other and face nail them so that the groove will end up facing into the next room. Okay, so this last effort to do this final little bit of trim work at the bottom. You can't underestimate how much time this is going to take. I actually had to remove the plinth block that you see there and um, sort of shave it down a little bit on the bottom and take a look at this. The entranceway into the next room, um, this white molding piece, I had to remove and customize it a bit and I chamfered the bottom of that cap molding there. Small little details, but they take a long time and comparable on the other side. They take a long time, and frankly, if you don't do them, eh, it doesn't look good. If you do them, people don't notice that much. Uh, but if you don't do them, it's over. Um, and just one more shot here. If you see, I've got the groove now all along. So when this room that I'm kneeling in right now gets carpeted, the carpeting will be attached to the tack strips and it will fit right into the hardwood floor here and it should make for a beautifully uh, seamless interface. All right, again, this is Mark from allaboutthehouse.com and thanks for watching. If uh, you want more insights on, on this project and projects like this, please visit the website. I know all the furniture's here, it's still a mess. Please visit the website and you can see more photos and even some tool recommendations. There's a lot of saws and nail guns in this project. Thanks for watching.